Welcome to the 34th annual ACFE Global Fraud Conference. So I'm thrilled to announce that there are more than 5,500 attendees this year, both in person and virtually. Seeing the range of industries, organizations, countries, and backgrounds represented here shows us that wherever fraud is found, it is people, it is leaders like yourselves who will continue to fight to detect and deter fraudulent activities around the globe, no matter their circumstances. And now, it's time to continue your climb, seek out answers, and discover what awaits you at the summit. We need to stand for what we have always stood for, which is truth, truth does matter, honesty, integrity, and ethics. He was the subject of two documentaries. So, Billy, thank you for joining us. I think lying ultimately proved to be the demise of Fire Festival and my career. So we need a mechanism, a means of filtering out of distinguishing between a person who is just simply nervous and anxious and somebody who is not. When you pull off a, a crypto heist like this, you can watch the getaway car move through the city map and follow its every turn as you know, the, the thieves like, try to find somewhere to, you know, to hide their money. We haven't really taken the right approach here in the U.S., but I think we can pivot and, and work to write rules, which will then make it easier to discern the good actors from the bad actors. This officially concludes the 34th annual ACFE Global Fraud Conference. Safe travels.